Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss back again with another video and today we're going to do the real review for the Huawei Mate 10 Pro. Now this is the US retail version. Now the pre-orders already started on Amazon. The release date is February 18th. I'll leave the link for that up in the description. The price on this one, 800 bucks. Now at launch, it's available in two colors. You got Midnight Blue and Titanium Gray. Now if you like the Mocha Brown, this one is coming out later. And also if you like the Porsche Edition, that one is available on pre-order also, same release date. And the price on that one is 1,225 bucks. Good Lord, that's a lot of money. But we'll talk about that one later. Now one important thing I gotta mention, if you pre-order this from Amazon, check this out. You get a $150 Amazon gift card. So let's do the math. 800 bucks minus your 150 for your Amazon gift card. Hold on a second, 800 minus 150, carry the one. Now nah, I'm just kidding, 650 bucks. Now for 650 bucks, that officially makes this the best priced Android flagship phone on the market right now. Now I know what you're saying. Didn't you just say that yesterday about the OnePlus 5T? And the answer is yes, I did say that. But that was before, this is B now. Honestly, 560 bucks for the OnePlus 5T or 650 for the Mate 10 Pro, if I had to choose, without even blinking, without even thinking, no hesitation, I'm going with the Mate 10 Pro. And after you see this video, you're gonna understand why I'm making that choice. All right, so let's unbox this one real quick, and then I'll do the full review. Beautiful presentation, same as the global version. Inside, here's your device, rah. One more, rah. Now this is the midnight blue, rah. Woo, I'm sorry, Midnight Blue. This is the Titanium Gray. Let me do the wipe down one time. Now, if y'all watch my top 10 smartphones of the year video, this came in at number two for the most beautiful phone out. Only phone I can uh, think that's more beautiful than this is the HTC U11, but I'm slowly changing my mind. This might be the most beautiful phone out. Six inch display, the cameras are crazy. We'll talk about that in a second. Now, if you wanna know all the specs, just go watch the unboxing video and we'll, uh, no reason to cover that again. Let's see what we got inside. Now, since this is a US version, now we got a US plug. This does support fast charging. That's why that brick is so big. This is gonna be a USB type C charging cable. Okay, you get a set of, uh, a set of Huawei headphones. Now, I use these headphones for a while, pretty good. All right, right on par with the iPhone headphones, the Galaxy headphones, basic set of headphones. Now, there's no headphone jack, so here's your headphone jack adapter or USB Type-C dongle, whatever you wanna call it. All right, let's see on the other side. Now look, this is a presentation right here. You get a little case, let's check the case on this one. Okay, simple gel skin case with the smoked out tin on it. Now, honestly, I never used this case on my last Mate 10 Pro, and I'll probably never use it on this one. The design and the build quality and the beauty of this phone, you're not gonna wanna use the case. But if you're doing that construction or you're washing your car outside, you might want some added protection, have that on deck. Here's your SIM ejection tool, and that's pretty much it. Now, no usual books and shit. In this day and age, who needs them? All right. Mate 10 Pro, oh my God, this is so beautiful. One more time. All right, let me pause the video real quick. I'm gonna slap all my information in and we'll do the full review. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we're back in. Now I got everything all set up, so let's get busy. Now, just like I do on any other phone review, let me start off by talking about everything that I don't like first, then we'll get into everything that I do like. Number one, the price, 800 bucks, I'm not feeling that at all. Now y'all know I do on my channel, I'm not co-signing on no overpriced phones, I don't care who makes them. Now if you spend 800 bucks, you're closing in on Galaxy and Pixel 2 XL prices, and those are clearly better phones. Now if you pre-order and get this for 650 bucks, then the price is right. Now while we're on the subject of prices, let's talk about the Mate 10 Pro Porsche Edition. Now that one is all black, it comes with 256 gigs worth of storage. You get the car charger in the box. 
but the price is 1225 bucks. Now that price is too goddamn high. Now that's spelled G-O-T, goddamn high. Because if you spend 1225 bucks on a Mate 10 Pro, your ass just got gut. So as far as pricing, too high, unless you get it for 650, then that's a win. Next, no wireless charging. Now, is that the biggest deal in the world? No. But if you pay $800 on the phone, you're gonna be looking for anything, all right? You want the wireless charging, you want a headphone jack, you want dual speakers, you want a quad HD display, you want anything. Not everything, anything. Now, if you don't know the difference, let me explain it to you real quick. Say you're in the ghetto and you're about to get robbed and somebody says, give me everything. That means they want your watch, your jewelry, your wallet, your money, you good. If they say, give me anything, you better strip. That means you're going home butt naked. All right, and it's the same thing with these phones. If I'm spending top dollar, I want anything. Now, speaking of wireless charging real quick, a lot of people are gonna say that wireless charging is not the biggest deal in the world and all that. They don't really use it. They don't care about it. Go to my Instagram and look at my wireless charger that I got in the car. With that robot sound, pzz, that James Bond type shit, trust me, you're gonna want that. All right, so especially somebody like me, I like gadgets, I like all this new stuff. I don't like to see wires nowhere. I got a whole bunch of desktop wireless chargers, wireless car chargers, wireless bathroom chargers. I want my joints to be wireless. All right, so no wireless charging. Not the biggest deal in the world, but I don't like that. Next. No quad HD display. Again, that ties into the price. Now, that's kind of a good thing and a bad thing because with the no quad HD display, you're getting better battery life, and we'll talk about that in a minute. But for 800 bucks, like I said, I want anything. I need that quad HD display. Now, with the naked eye, you might not be able to tell the difference. But if you're somebody that had a Galaxy or somebody that had an HTC U11, any phone that has a quad HD display, then you pick up this phone, you're gonna notice a little bit of the difference with the sharpness and the vividness of some of the colors. But again, not the biggest deal in the world. Next, no headphone jack. Now that's a small thing. Basically, a lot of these new phones coming out, they're all losing the headphone jack. But if you got an old school car and you're using the aux cable in the car, or you got some good uh, high fidelity headphones that are wired, you're not gonna wanna keep carrying around that little USB dongle, and once you lose it, now you gotta be on Amazon trying to find another one. Some of them are compatible, some of them don't work. All right, so no headphone jack, I'm not feeling that. Next, no expandable memory. Now, look, if you got 128 gigs worth of storage, yeah, that might be able to last, but I got a whole bunch of micro SD cards, my Family Guy episodes, with my American Dad episodes that I like to swap in and out when I want to swap my dash cam footage and put it right into the, you know, take it out of the dash cam and put it right in the phone and watch it. Can't do it on this phone. All right, so no expandable memory. I would have liked to have seen that. Next, no facial unlock. Again, now these are small things. Y'all might call me petty. I am Petty Roosevelt. But no facial unlock. The Galaxy has it. The iPhone has it. Even a OnePlus 5T has it, and that's a $560 phone. It's just a nice convenience. All right, now, I, I want to see face unlock. I don't care about iris sensor. It doesn't have to be iPhone, government standard, you know, facial recognition software. It could be just like on the OnePlus 5T, just something that's convenient so I can open up the phone when I got on gloves, or I can open up the phone when it's cold, open up the phone when my hands is wet. I could just, you know, play around with it and just use it for convenience. All right, so what I, like, I would like to see that in an update. Next, EMUI. Now that's the skin that they're running on top of Android. And it's very convoluted. It's a lot, it, it's, it's, it's cumbersome, it's confusing. It's not the smoothest and user-friendly uh, skin that on, that's on the market. Now, if you're coming from a stock Android phone like a Nexus or a Pixel, or even something like a Sony uh, or so, uh, uh, Moto, or maybe even like a OnePlus, something with a light skin on it, you're gonna find this skin a little bit confusing. Now, one thing I don't like about the skin that it comes with a lot of bloatware and a lot of that bloatware you can't remove. Now, if you could disable it and remove it, that would have been cool. Of course, you could get Nova Launcher or you could get Prime or whatever you want, add that on top of it. But as a basic stock skin, it should have been a little bit more smooth and a little bit more user friendly. Now, I'm into the tech stuff, so I kind of got used to it already. You'll get used to it, too. Last but not least, color choices. Now, this is my this is my petty status right now. Color choices, I hate when companies do that. Shout out to OnePlus, they one of the main culprits at doing that. You come out with a phone that's black 
and you got maybe two color choices, black and white. Then three months later, you're coming out with the blue. Then the month after that, you're coming out with the limited edition gold. Look, companies, if y'all listening, we, uh, we as the consumers, we don't like that. We don't like that. Now, same thing with these Huawei phones right here. At launch, you got the titanium gray, you got the midnight blue, and you got the Porsche edition black that nobody ain't buying. But my favorite color is the mocha brown. So now if you want this phone, you're gonna have to wait a little bit longer for the Mocha Brown to release in, uh, in the USA. I don't like that. Companies do like Apple, you know, take a page out of Apple. When you got a, comp when you got a bunch of color choices, bring them all out at once, all right? Give us the consumer the opportunity to pick what color we want without having to wait. That, sa that same thing on a side note, that happened with the Galaxy Note. The Galaxy Note 8, y'all remember the gold one came out later? A lot of people would have liked to have gotten the gold one, but we got stuck with the black or you got stuck with the blue, depending on what, you know, or, or different companies come out with different colors in different regions. We don't like that, all right? Take a page out of Apple's playbook, bring out all your colors at once, give us the choice. All right, now one more thing I gotta mention that I don't really care about, but I know somebody's gonna bring it up in the comments section. All of this stuff with the uh, the government, the Chinese government spying on your phone and all of the malware and spyware and all of that. Look, for me, that stuff, I don't really care about that. I don't really care about all that stuff. Anybody that's doing that real kind of dirt, you should be using a trap phone already. All right, you should be doing that already. If you got your credit cards and all your information, get insurance. All right, you heard, you heard of LifeLock? Get LifeLock. I, and nowadays, it's not like back in the days, somebody stole your credit card and they could blow you up and you, you asked out. That doesn't happen anymore. Get insurance. Now, I'll tell you all a quick story. I was out in Vegas. Somebody got my credit card information and got me for $10,000. I simple, simple, simple and straightforward. Got me for $10,000. Now, I'm home looking at my statement and I notice while I'm in Queens at Taco Bell ordering 10 tacos because I'm a fat ass. I look at my statement that same day, somebody's in Utah ordering cowboy boots and a matching cowboy hat. So all I did was call my credit card company. I said, look, it's impossible for me to be stuffing my face with tacos in Queens and buying cowboy boots in Utah at the same time. They said, okay, hold on a second, blah, 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 did some information. 24 hours later, I got my money back. So all of that spyware and software and all that stuff, I don't really care about that. Now, if you, you know, if that's something that you really worried about, I don't know what to say, but if you think for one second that just because you got an iPhone or you got a Galaxy or you got a Motorola that nobody can't get your inf information, you better think again. All right, I'm gonna leave you with that. Now, let's talk about everything that I do like. Number one, Gal Gadot. Now, if y'all don't know who Gal Gadot is, that's Wonder Woman. And Wonder Woman is the official Huawei brand ambassador. Now, I don't know if y'all seen that commercial that, that she got out with the Huawei phones. And at the end, she's saying, not Huawei, Huawei, W-O-W, Huawei. I love that commercial. I love Wonder Woman. And shout out to Gal Gadot. I know she'll be watching YouTube videos. If you see this video, I'm available. All right, now, all jokes aside, let's get into everything that I really do like. I do like Wonder Woman, though. Number one. The look, the look of this phone is absolutely amazing. Now I've been using this Mocha Brown version for about maybe two to three months, ever since I got the demo user, uh, demo unit a long time ago. Anywhere I go, now I'll be in the nightlife scene, any club I go to, bars, restaurants, if y'all watch me on Instagram, I always got this phone on the table and somebody's always gonna ask me, what phone is this? Oh, that phone just looks beautiful, especially at nighttime in the bar, and you got the neon lights and the, the glowing lights all over the place. Look at the reflection on this, the shimmeriness. This phone is absolutely beautiful. Now, I hear some people complaining about the look, you know, with the cameras on the back. That really doesn't bother me, or that band going across, that doesn't bother me either. Like I said, there's only one phone, in my opinion, that looks better than this, and that's the HTC U11, because it looks a little bit more flush, and that, um, I forgot the technical term for that, reflectivity, reflectivity, whatever process they use on the back of that one, it just looks amazing. But this is number two on my best looking phones. So the look on this phone, A1. I, on a side note, again, if you don't know what A1 means, that means excellent. And I say that a lot, and people ask me, what does that mean? That, that might be a Queens thing, but we say A1, that means excellent. Next, let's talk about the build quality. All right, glass back, premium feel. Y'all know I gotta say it. Feels so good in the hands, ladies. You know the procedures, Wonder Woman. You know the procedures. 
the look and the feel, the build quality on this, stunning. All right, now keep in mind, this phone is IP67, dust and water resistant, so you drop it in the toilet, drop it in the pool, drop it in the kitchen sink when you're doing the dishes, you're not gonna have a problem. So build quality in this, nothing to complain about. Next, let's talk about the display. Now, even though it is a non-quad HD display, it is AMOLED panel, so it looks beautiful. Now, y'all see I'm rocking the black background. You get great viewing angles in the sun. I like to rock this at maximum brightness because of the battery. We'll talk about the battery. Now, you, you see when I, my, my voice just went low like that? That means it's something I really like. I said the battery. We'll talk about the battery in a minute, but the display on this, beautiful. Six inches, all right, so pretty big, giggity. No problems with the display, all right, you're gonna love it. If they're gonna go non-quad HD, I'm glad that they went non-quad HD and kept the AMOLED panels. All right, so the display on this is a go. Next, let's talk about fingerprint sensor. Now this could be, this could be the fastest fingerprint sensor in the game. Now y'all heard me say that before when I first got the phone, never slow down. Look, look at this. I, you don't have to touch it and hold it. I'm just gonna tap it. One tap opens 100% of the time, not 90%. Not 75%, not 96% of the time. 100% of the time when you tap that fingerprint sensor, it's gonna open. So for a phone that doesn't have facial unlock, having the fastest fingerprint sensor in the market is the next best thing. All right, so the fingerprint sensor, major, major, major go. Next, let's talk about the speakers. Now for the speakers, I gotta pull up a video real quick. It does have dual speakers. Now are these dual speakers better than the Razer phone? No. Better than the iPhone? No. Better than the HTC U11, no. But it does have dual speakers. And that's something that I, that I respect. And that's something I've been crying about for every video I do about phones. Why not just put a little extra speaker in the top and Huawei paid attention, or Huawei, let me say Huawei. Huawei paid attention, put that little speaker on the top. Now here's how the speaker works. All of the low end is at the bottom. On the top, you're gonna get that high end. Now if you don't know what that means, if you're hearing a song and the song is boom, t -t boom, t -t boom, t -t the boom is gonna be at the bottom, the t -t 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 part is gonna be at the top. That's the simplest way to explain it. Now let me pull up a video real quick. I'll take it over to Bike Life and let y'all hear it for yourself. All right, here it goes. Now we can check the display at the same time. Beautiful. Now watch this. I cover the speakers. You hit a high end at the top. Here goes the low end. Now, if you cover both, there's just the low end. Now, watch when the high end comes back. You hear that? That's like the treble and the mids. Let me pause this real quick. That is a nice little touch right there. Now, I would have preferred to have stereo speakers. Of course, who wouldn't? But this is the next best thing, all right? If you're gonna have dual speakers and they're not gonna be stereo speakers, put the highs at the top, the highs, put the highs at the top and the lows at the bottom. So the speakers on this, they sound great. All right, they sound great, way better than the Galaxy speakers, way better than basically every single bottom firing speaker on the market because you got two, all right? Anyway, let's keep it moving. Next, IR Blaster, here we go. Now this is what I'm talking about. Huawei is one of the last companies to keep that IR blaster. Now, I know some of y'all are going to say, who, who cares about an IR blaster? Who uses that? I do. I do. Me. Smart remote. Click on smart remote. I, you see, I got it set up to my Sony TV. Click on the Sony TV. As soon as I walk in the door, now I got a big bed with big comforters all over the place. I ain't got to jump in the bed and go searching for the remote control. Pull out my phone. Go to my smart remote. Control the TV. Now that works for trolling also. So you're sitting in the dentist's office and they're watching Maury or some bullshit early in the morning and you wanna watch ESPN, you wanna watch the sports highlights, open up your smart remote app, pair it to the TV, change the channel. You're sitting in the diner and they're playing some corny old school radio station uh, videos or some corny shit that you don't really wanna pay attention to, change the channel, put on something better. So having an IR blaster, that is a major 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 go when you see the two fingers that means this is a go all right so ir blaster coupled with smart remote i'm feeling that other companies pay attention let, let, let's start a hashtag hashtag bring back the ir blaster all right samsung pay attention on the low Huawei, 
if they make a few adjustments, now I'm going off track right here. If they make a few adjustments, listen to me, add a few more features, remove a few more features, Huawei could easily be the Samsung Galaxy killer, easily. Now I'll talk about that in a separate video. Next, let's talk about Translate. Now this is a stock app and it works amazing. All right, you click on Translate. Now, you could talk. I could just talk in English and translate it to another language or I could record. So say somebody walks up to me and they start, they, they speak in Spanish, I could just record what they're saying and they'll translate it back to me in English. Or my favorite feature, taking a picture of something and having it auto translate. Now let me show you how fast and convenient that works and I'll tell you a real life situation where I just used this. All right, check this out. Now you're gonna love this. Now say you're out of the country and you go out to eat, maybe you met somebody, you go on a fancy date and you go to that restaurant. You don't wanna look like a dummy. You see where it says dummy at the top? You wanna to look like a boss. You got your Mate 10 Pro on you, you're gonna be a boss. Now here's the menu. You see it's all in German. I'm gonna take a picture of the menu. All right, you see it? Let me, let me get that in focus for y'all. Take a picture of the menu. Look how fast that translated. The following items may be served or offered for breakfast. Now look, everything is in English. Sausage, juice, milk. Everything translated right to English. Now you see at the bottom, I got it set to German to English. I could look like a boss in any country that I go to. Now for the real life scenario, shout out to my brother, he was coding my car. I, I'm driving the BMW right now, so if you go to the coding menu, everything is in German. So we're trying to code it ourselves and save some money, but we couldn't figure it out. Everything was in German. So now my brother's up on the forums and trying to you know, f figure out which code to do. I forgot I had the Mate 10 Pro in my pocket. I said, let me show you something real quick. I took a picture of, of the coding list and it printed out just like this. I look like a boss, all right? So the translate feature on this, that's one of my favorite options. I'm gonna be using that when I go to Spain in a couple of weeks. Let's keep it moving. Next, battery life. Now this is one of the best features of this phone. The battery life on this phone is incredible. 4,000 milliamp battery, it's gonna last you all day long. Now of course, no quad HD display, so that's gonna help with the battery. But if you like me, check this out. Look at my brightness. My brightness stays on max. Stays on max. I got 72% battery. That's from this morning. I haven't been using it all day, but that's from this morning. And speaking of not using it all day, standby time on this phone is crazy. This phone you could charge on Monday. If you don't use it, you pick it up on Wednesday. Say you had 100% and you took it off the charger on Monday. You pick it up on Wednesday. It's gonna be at 90. So this is that phone right here. You fall asleep in the bed playing around on Instagram, you fall asleep and your phone is at 72%, you wake up the next morning, your phone is at maybe 69, maybe 70%. The battery drain is unbelievable. Now it closes out a lot of apps in the background, so if you're doing work and all that, you're gonna lose that, but it doesn't matter. I'd rather have the battery, I could always find that stuff later. Battery life is crazy. Now this is also a shit shower and shave phone. It features quick charge. Now Huawei claims, 20 minutes of charge is gonna give you a full day's worth of battery. Now I haven't I haven't really tested it to say a full day's worth, but I know for a fact this is definitely a shit shower and shave phone. I got home, my phone was at 20%. Take a shit, shower, shave. I'm a fat bastard, so I gotta stop and eat some peanut butter and jelly sandwiches before I walk out the door, cause I'm broke. When I'm walking out the door, the phone is at 80%. That's amazing. That's what you want in your cell phone, right? So that's one of the top things when you're buying a phone. You want long-lasting battery life. You want a good camera, and you want no lag. And this this phone checks all of those boxes, and we'll talk about that stuff in, in a couple of seconds. But battery life on this, amazing. Next, let's talk about the processor. Now, normally is the time I would talk about Snapdragon 835 and Adreno 540s and all that stuff, but. Huawei uses high silicone, so a lot of, a lot, inc including me, a lot of people don't know the difference or don't know how to equate those two together. So I'm not even gonna try. I'm just gonna tell you by actually using the phone, this phone has zero lag. Zero lag is super smooth, super responsive. Now on a side note, a lot of people was asking me what took so long to do the review. Well, I had the global version. Now this one, I did have a few bugs and I, I didn't wanna do a full review until I tested out the new version. Now the bugs that I have with this version, I don't see them on the new one, so I'm assuming that it was a software issue or pre-production model issue. Now one of the bugs I was having is when I open a split screen, the phone would reset. 
So now, <laughs> normally, that would be a deal breaker for me. Or when I open two apps or more than two, three apps, it would reset. Now, they just came out with an update. I noticed that this one ain't even doing it, but this one is definitely not doing it. So no problems with that. Zero lag. Phone is nice and smooth, very responsive. You can have 100 apps open in the background at the same time. No lag. All right, so let's keep it moving. Next, let's talk about gestures. Now, you do got a few gestures. This is one thing I just, I, I just came to my mind. <laughs> no World Star Hip Hop button. Now, you do got the World Star Hip Hop button, but it's kind of different. Check this out. You double tap the volume key, and it takes a picture. Now, that's not the biggest deal in the world because now you still got access to your camera. You can continue taking your pictures, but it's just going to take that first picture. That's kind of annoying. I wish you could, you know, turn that part off or maybe remap the button to have it with your power button. It is what it is. But you do got a bunch of gestures. Let me show you some of the gestures. Now, keep in mind, I'm saving my favorite feature for this phone to the end. So I'm forcing y'all to watch this whole video. Check out some of the gestures. Knuckle gesture. Double tap, takes a screenshot. Now, when you screenshot, you can keep uh, scrolling down. You got the scroll shot. Y'all already know what that is. I ain't got to really deal with that. Let me show you one more a dope knuckle gesture. Check this out. Now, say I'm on Facebook. I'm going to use my knuckle. Draw a line across the phone. That opens up your split screen app. Uh, split screen apps. Straight from the knuckle. Once you start using this phone and you get the hang of it, you're going to love the knuckle gesture. But I use it the most for the screenshots when I'm doing my clandestine Instagram screenshot activity. Shout out to the Thought Life. All right, so a lot of gestures on this phone. You got all your standard flip to mute. This phone is running Android 8 Oreo Optimus Prime. So you're, all, you're gonna have your built-in. This is a stock Android uh, Oreo feature always on display. All right, so you got your always on display. You do have a few gestures. You got glove mode, one hand mode. You got your floating dock. Let me show you that real quick. You see my floating dock? You see that little white ball right there? I know. If I open, if I open that, Hold on, let's, let's open up an app. Let me see, where can I open that safe? I open Facebook. I hit the floating dock. All right, so matter of fact, you could customize that. I just noticed I got mine set to back. You could customize it or you could have it uh, the wheel where you got back, recently used apps. Y'all seen I did that in the unboxing. I don't want to waste too much time. I know this video is kind of long. So let's keep it moving. So EMUI is fully customizable. There's so many. That's, that was one of my complaints, but it's a good thing at the same time. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's open up settings. There's so many different features. So you got your motion controls, voice controls, gloves mode. There's so many different features and customizations built into this phone. Play with it. All right, when you get the phone, don't just set it up and use it. Go through each one and play with it. You're going to discover something that you like. All right. Now, I'm wrapping up this video right now. So I got to talk about my two favorite features of this phone and my two reasons why I would tell you to buy this phone. Number one, the camera. Now the camera on this phone <laughs> is amazing. All right, the camera's amazing. The camera has this thing called UI, uh, UI, <laughs> I know. It has AI, all right, artificial intelligence. So basically what it does is there's 13 scenes that's built into the phone. So you got your cat, your dog, your food, your landscapes, your different environments. So when you're taking a picture of something, it's automatically gonna detect what that picture is and adjust accordingly. So let me give you a quick idea of what I'm talking about. Let me find a picture of Xerxes real quick. All right, let's see if we could get this to work. Now I got a picture of Xerxes. Shout out to White Shoes, she got the day off. So we're gonna have to use a picture. Now look right above this picture on the bottom. You see that little black space? Watch this. You notice the picture of a cat popped up? The artificial intelligence built into the camera knows that it's a cat and it knows the difference between a cat and a dog. It knows the difference between green grass and green leaves on a tree. This camera is amazing. Now let me show you a test shot real quick. Look at this picture of Xerxes. This is point and shoot, no uh, professional mode, no change in the ISO, no white balance, nothing. Point and shoot status, the camera is amazing. Now, if you want to see some more pictures, go to my Instagram. Look at the pictures from CES when I got on the baseball jerseys. You'll see me holding this phone. Look how dope those pictures look. This is my new phone for taking selfies. Now, I don't like taking too many selfies, but you know, a lot of times the ladies want to see me, so I got to do a selfie maybe once a month, 
or if I go away and I'm rocking a bunch of fresh outfits, then you're gonna see a bunch of selfies. But when you see those selfies, I guarantee you, you're gonna see them using the Mate 10 Pro. Now, if you keep scrolling, you'll see a picture maybe two days before that with the Galaxy Note 8, and I'm sorry to say, it don't look as good. Now look, I'm not hating. All right, the Note 8, I'm not hating. Shout out to the Samsung Knights, don't be mad at me. Samsung, the, the Galaxy Note 8 camera is just as good. You can tweak the settings, you gotta play with it. But the point about the Mate 10 Pro camera is you don't have to touch it. Let the artificial intelligence do everything for you. Now let me show you something else real quick. Look at the video. The video quality. Car shooting flames right now. All right, chill. Let me calm down. Let me calm down. Shooting them flames right now. All right, let me back out of this. Camera quality is amazing. Now, let me show you one more thing. Now, here's, here's the thing. Here's the, the, look at this. Look how many different modes you got. All right, you got photo, monochrome, got the black and white photos, video, 3D, panorama, HDR, night shot. There's too many. And you could go to more. You could go to more and download more. Look, take it from me. The camera on this phone is amazing. If you're into taking selfies, you're gonna wanna take selfies with this camera. All right, so this is my new selfie phone. Now, before I get out of here, let me mention the best feature of this phone. All right, it's called private space, or as we call it on my channel, thought protection. I gotta demo this for y'all one more time. I don't know why a lot of people ain't talking about this feature. Even when I went to CES and I watched the whole Huawei presentation, they never mentioned it. I don't know why a lot of people don't care about this. Maybe everybody's not a scumbag or living that creep life like me, but this is the best feature of this phone. Fellas, ladies, pay attention. Check this out. All right, now, real quick, if you don't know what a thought is, just go to your Urban Dictionary and, 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 and figure that out for yourself. Thought protection. Everybody's been in a relationship. Ladies, fellas, same thing. Everybody's been in a relationship with that nosy partner. All right, you got your partner that's always going through your phone. Or you got kids. They just as bad as being, as being in the, one of those relationships. They just as nosy. This is the protection against that. So you could call this kid protection, thought protection. I'll show you three examples of how to use this. Or you can use this at work. Here's how it works. All right. Now look, pay attention to my phone. You see I got the black wallpaper. Let me go to Instagram. Well, real quick, off. Make sure there's no thought activity. All right. Go to Instagram. Okay. Oh, okay. Who that? Oh, okay. Oh, boo. All right, <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, so here's my Instagram. You see? Flossy Carter, that's me. That's my Instagram. Let's go to my Facebook. There's my Facebook. All right, y'all see me in the corner. That's me. Now, check this out. I'm going to power the phone just like that. Now, I'm going to open it with my finger. There's my phone. Now, check this out. I'm going to open it using a different finger. Watch what happens. Notice anything different? Now you see the blue background? Doesn't stop there. Let's go to Instagram. Open up Instagram, guess what? Now it's Xerxes' Instagram. Now keep an open mind, it doesn't have to be Xerxes, it could have been my backup Instagram, my thought life Instagram, whatever. Let's open up Facebook. Whoa. No Facebook and no Facebook profile even on this phone. Fellas, ladies, this is the best feature of this phone. This is like having a double life. All right? This is having two phones in the same phone. So how how is that gonna help you if you're dealing with a thought? Simple. Now watch this. I'm gonna power it back, open it back with my regular finger. Okay, my first finger that I set up, back to the black wallpaper. So, say I'm on a date. I, I'm living a scumbag life. Shout out to all the scumbags and the creeps out there. I'm on a date. The date ain't really going so good. So, you know, I'm on my Instagram, checking on my DMs. My DMs, stay lit. I'm checking on my DMs. I'm having fun. I'm doing my thing. I know I got that nosy person or m maybe my, my, my girlfriend that I'm with or my date that I'm with. They want to look at my phone. They want to know what's so funny. Why I'm always on Instagram. What's so funny? Well, let me show you what's so funny. Uh, we get into a little argument at the table. Oh, you want to see my phone? Okay, cool. Hold on a second. You don't even have to say hold on. You, fellas, you got to know how to play this, though. You got to know how to play this. All right, let me, let me show you how to do it. I'll do it one more time and show you how to do it for real. All right, so I'm on my Instagram. Let, let's, all right, I'm looking at some buns. Let me see if I can pull up. Let's find it some let's find some buns. It's hard. It, I can't believe I'm this many scrolls with no buns this time of the night. 
It is what it is. All right, well. Okay, here we go. All right. So now say, say, uh, let me kind of like that photo. Now say I'm doing this, right? And now all of a sudden I'm getting into that drama. Somebody want to see my phone. Oh, you want to see my phone? Okay, here. You see how smooth I just did that? You didn't see me doing anything. I didn't close nothing up. Here, here's my phone. Open back. Here's my phone. Now you go to my Instagram. Check my DMs for yourself. Let's go to the DMs. Now, <laughs> on the side note, Shout out to everybody that be sending Xerxes DMs. I, I, I will, I, I'll read them to Xerxes one of these days, but here's all my DMs. It's nothing going down in the DMs on Xerxes' page. Nothing. You want to see my Facebook? I can leave the phone on the table and disappear. Oh, babe, watch my phone. I'll be right back. You know, if you're dealing with a thought, and you say, watch my phone, I'm going to the bathroom, they're going to pick up your phone. The first thing they're going to do is go to your camera. They're going to hit that button right here, and they're going to start swiping to see your pictures. Guess what? No pictures, no Facebook, Instagram, dry, and no pictures. Now, when I come back to the table, she's going to be smiling like, oh, I'm dealing with a real gentleman. Now, I pick up my phone. I'm going to open it with my regular finger, all right, because I'm a gentleman. Open it with my regular finger. Instagram buns pop up immediately. Let's go to camera. Hit that button. Now, I can start, swipe. I can start swiping. Let me not swipe too far, but I can start swiping. I got all my clandestine photos locked in safe and secure. That to me is the best feature of this phone. Also, if you got a kid. Now, if your kid is anything like my kid, she always want to look at my phone. She always want to play with my phone because she know I got the newest phone. She always want to take selfies and store them into my phone. So she's going to be like, dad, give me your phone. I'm like, okay, hold on a second. Here you go. Open it up just like that. Here's my phone. Do whatever you want now. You could take my phone and go crazy. Even if I lost it right now, I wouldn't care. You could go to my pictures. You ain't going to see nothing that you don't need to see. Same thing, you at work. You at work, you're watching your porn hub. You're doing whatever you do, and your boss comes in. Maybe you got some spreadsheets, or your boss is like, oh, let me, let me see those pictures you took from such and such, or let me see your phone for something. You don't want to have to give your boss your phone and worry about them pressing that button. You know what button I'm talking about, right? Recently used apps. You don't want your boss pressing that recently used apps button. You don't need that. So, use your thought protection, close it up, your boss comes in, here's my phone, call me when I get to the other office, do, do whatever you do. These are just hypothetical uh, situations, but the point is, it's built into the phone. Now look, one thing I do gotta mention, if you get a text message, fellas, if you live in the creep life, and you're using your thought protection, and you think you're doing it like a boss, be careful. All right, because if you get a text message, that text message is still going to pop up on the phone no matter which profile you in. Trust me, I tested it. All right, so don't get that Pizza Hut text in the middle of the night and then call me on the phone getting mad at me talking about, yo, you told me to get stop protection. I got busted. I'm letting you know right now it's not going to protect you from text messages and phone calls, but it will protect you from your Instagram thought activities and it will protect you from your uh, clandestine photos. One of the best parts about it is how fast it transfers. Now, it's not it's not instantaneously, but that's fast enough to get the job done. You could do that in your pocket. I could do that right right from in my pocket. Without see now, it's a little bit harder for me to reach that middle finger, but I could do that right in my pocket. Now, say this is now say I, I had this set up as my main profile. To get back to my thought profile, it's pretty fast. It's pretty fast. This is the best underrated feature of this phone. Anyway. Overall, on a scale of 1 to 10, the Mate 10 Pro is a major, major, major go. My advice to you would be, if you like what you see and you like this phone, don't wait. I don't wait. Pre-order it now and get it for 650 bucks. Now, the price may eventually drop. It's probably going to drop. Well, not even, it's definitely going to drop. The price is definitely going to drop, but why wait? I, if, if, if it does drop, it's going to drop to 650 So you might as well pre-order it now. Get it for six fifty. If you want the Mocha Brown, you're gonna have to wait a little bit or get the global version. On a side note, it does work on AT and T. Did I even set up the fingerprint? Yeah, this one is running on AT and T. You see, I'm still downloading some apps. Oh, 144. All right, it's almost finished. All right, it does work on AT and T and T Mobile. If you got Sprint or Verizon, as usual, you asked out. But anyway, like I said, on a scale of one to ten, this is a major, major, major go. Will I get the Porsche edition? Now, even though I said the price is too goddamn high, I'm probably going to get it anyway. Look, if y'all want me to get the Porsche edition so y'all can see what it comes with in the box and see it, you know, see how it looks in person, leave a comment below. If I see enough comments to get it, I'll get it, even though I'm probably going to get it anyway because I like it. 
I like the Wesley Snipes version. I'm probably going to get it. But if y'all really want to see that, leave that in the comment section, and then I'll probably get rid of one of these two. Anyway, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this. And also, I know my videos be kind of long, and I'll be rambling on and on and having fun. But at the same time, you're about to spend 800 bucks. I'm trying to cover as much information as I can. I'm not trying to make y'all watch a sales commercial. I try to give y'all as many real-world situations, pros and cons. Money's money's tight these days. I'm, I'm broke. I know some of y'all out there broke too. Money's tight. So when you get ready to spend that 800 bucks, I'm trying to give you as much information as you can. All right? When I get back to my regular videos, I'll make them a little bit shorter. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this. All right, real quick, before I get out of here, just in case y'all wanted to see those pictures I was talking about on Instagram that came out so hot, check these out. Look at this one. You see I'm holding the Mate 10 Pro. Look at the background. Now go to your phone, go to my Instagram, look at this picture for yourself. Now let me show you two more real quick. Now look at this one. Equally as hot. Now check out the Galaxy Note 8 picture. You notice it's a lot darker. The background just doesn't look as vivid. One more time. Look at the Mate 10 Pro. This is a major go. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Voxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the Amazon Warrior on Sundays. Y'all already know, stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready, no meat boys allowed. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat. Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I'll see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Spot one to be my energized.